Hi everyone. This is Shobhit Mehta and today I'm going to talk about systematic transfer plan. Think of a situation where you just received a bonus of 5 lakhs and now you are trying to look out for options on how you can invest that amount. Now you also need to make sure that you invest it in a way that it suits your risk appetite. But of course, you don't want to miss out on the opportunity of earning a potential returns too. Today, we are going to discuss how STP or systematic transfer plan may enable you to invest smartly in such situation. One way to invest your 5 lakhs would be to put the entire amount into an equity fund in one shot that is lump sum. But there might be a problem with this approach. If you invest all the capital in equity at once, you might end up investing at a market peak, while instead you could actually think of investing in multiple tranches and take advantage of rupee cost averaging. So rather than doing this, investing a fixed amount at regular intervals could help you reduce the risk of market fluctuations and may also possibly help you mitigate the potential risk of making significant investments during market peaks. Another option that allows you to average out your investment is that you can invest the 5 lakhs over a period of time. Say you decide to invest 50,000 every month for 10 months. Sounds fine, right? But take a step back and think what exactly is happening after the first month of investment. Rupee 50,000 has been invested in the scheme while rupees 4.5 lakhs is just lying idle in your savings account. And you are only receiving the bank's savings account interest. This is exactly where STP or systematic transfer plan could help the investors. STP allows investors to transfer funds from a debt mutual fund to an equity mutual fund of the same fund house or vice versa and even within the same category as well. This is similar to you transferring money for your monthly SIP but instead of having the money sitting in your bank account, instead you could invest it in a debt fund which could offer better yields depending on the market scenario. While banks may not always offer you a very attractive interest rate, a debt mutual fund could have the possibility of providing you the bit better yields to subject market risk. So basically, you may end up getting the best of both worlds by not investing the entire amount at once but instead investing systematically and taking the advantage of rupee cost averaging, which in turn helps reduce the risk of investing the entire amount at once while simultaneously not leaving the money idle in your bank account. So you can invest 5 lakhs using STP by selecting a debt mutual fund, which gives you the facility to invest in any equity mutual fund. Once you select a debt mutual fund, you can invest the entire sum of rupees 5 lakh in the debt mutual fund and can eventually have it transferred into an equity mutual fund at regular intervals as per the frequency of your choice. Now, before you invest in an STP, here are few things that you should know. Tax implications. Investments made under the systematic transfer plan are taxable if capital gains are incurred. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to watch more interesting videos about investing. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.